The problem reads, calculate delta H for the reaction CH4 gas plus NH3 gas goes to HCN gas plus 3H2 gas from the reactions, and these are three reactions to which we are given the change in enthalpy. And we're to calculate the final change in enthalpy. Now the idea here is to use Hess's law. Hess's law states that energy changes are state functions. So it doesn't depend on the path, it doesn't depend on the intermediate steps here. The amount of energy depends only on the states of the reactant and the states of the product, but not on the intermediate steps, provided everything is at the same temperature and pressure. So we are assuming that these four reactions satisfy Hess's law. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that what we're going to do is find factors for each of these so that we get this reaction and we're going to multiply delta H times each of the respective factors and add it up. So what's key here? NH3. NH3, this is on the wrong side and there's two of them. So we need to multiply by minus one half. So we're going to multiply this by minus one half. Next. What's key here? CH4. Right number, wrong side, so minus 1. And the last one is we see HCN. It's on the correct side, but there's too many of them. So it's just 1 half times that. So what do we have? We have, let's write these down, minus 1 half and 2, minus 1 half times 3, minus 3 halves, H2, and on this side, let's draw a line. We have minus 1 half times 2, so minus NH3. So delta H of this reaction here is minus 1 half times minus 91.8. Next one down. We have minus C minus 2H2 on this side, and on this side we have minus CH4, and so of this reaction, the change in enthalpy is minus, minus 74.9. And this one is 1 half, so 1 half H2 plus 1 half times 2, that would be 1C, plus 1 half N2, and on this side we have HCN. And delta H now is one half of 270.3. First, let's make sure everything's the same unit. We've written down the numbers correctly. We've written down the same factors, yes? And we're going to check this part by making sure we get the original reaction. So, first of all, the odd things out should cancel. Here it goes. One, minus 1 half N2 goes with 1 half N2. And minus C goes with plus C. We should be only left with reactants that are here. So we have minus 3 halves, that's minus 1.5. Minus 2, that's minus 3.5. And then plus 1, so minus 3H2 on this side. And on... This side, let's bend this so we don't waste our space here. Uh, we have minus NH3, minus CH4, and plus HCN. Put the minuses on the other side. What do we get? We get NH3 plus CH4 goes to HCN plus 3H2. Is that the same? It is indeed. We're good to go. So now we just need to add these up. So delta H of the main reaction is, let's get a calculator, minus 0.5 times minus 91.8 minus, and then that's going to be a times minus again. So. Let's erase that minus and put in a plus 
0.9, and then we have plus 0.5 times 270.3. So minus 5 times minus, and then those two minuses together are plus, and then this is plus, so we're good. Enter 255.95. So 255.95. And that is kilojoules per mole is our answer. So the change in enthalpy for this reaction here is 255.95 kilojoules per mole.